Hey everybody, AJ here. Thank you guys for tuning in to the KSI webinar series. In this episode, we're going to talk about summer recruitment and a few strategies on how to attack that. All right, so real quick, we're just going to go over why we recruit over the summer and why summer recruitment is important. First off, you know, it really offers, up, offers us an upper hand when reaching out to PNMs. We get to talk to them before they get to campus, before they're looking at other fraternities. Um, you know, overall, just start to get to create that relationship earlier than other organizations. Um, along with this comes a much more relaxed environment than other forms of recruitment. Oftentimes, you're just meeting somebody, you're just hanging out with them um, before you're even considering them as a potential new member. Um, lastly, you know, it ties into that second reason, it's fun. Again, you're meeting people, you're making friends before you make brothers. Um, you're overall just hanging out with people, which is likely what you'd be doing anyways over the summer. However, now it's just much more objective based. A few factors to think about when planning a successful recruitment effort are dedication, organization, and money. Those dedication, organization, and money. All three of those are very important. And we'll go into the why. With events, you know, we encourage to do events over the summer, you know, one major event in the month of June, July, and August, in addition to any of the smaller events that your alpha may already planning to host over the summer. Um, but, you know, those are not the only ways to engage PMs over the summer. Oftentimes, you're going to be put in a one on one environment. Um, maybe you're going golfing with them and a couple brothers. Um, you're taking them out to coffee, taking them out to lunch. Um, the mu much more one-on-one -on -one environment is often much more successful over the summer. Not saying that events are not, because events are a great way to get a bunch of people out to one event, um, hanging out, having fun, maybe it's a barbecue or whatever. Um, you know, both of those are very effective ways in meeting and engaging potential new members. This slide is where organization comes in, ensuring sufficient attendance at each of your events. You know, getting brothers to the events requires you to plan ahead. Make sure you have the event location planned out, the event timing, um, and all the details that the brothers need to know ahead of time is gonna make it much easier for them to get to that event. Other ways of ensuring sufficient attendance, you can do recruitment teams. Um, maybe you're at, you attend the University of Oregon, but you have four brothers that live down in San Francisco. They could be one recruitment team that can you know, plan to engage you guys and meet incoming students in San Francisco. Um, already get them engaged and start that relationship early. Another great way is a sign-up sheet. You know, this can involve where brothers, you have all the events planned out throughout the summer and you allow the brothers just to sign up for any event that they like to attend. This makes sure that one, they can attend the events that they're required to, and two, they get to pick what times those required events are. Very easy and successful way on ensuring that you have enough attendance at each of your events. Again, off-campus events, we already kind of talked about them in the Oregon example, but you know, maybe you guys have guys spread out all over the state. You have four guys in one town, five in another. Um, you know, what I mean by that is just wherever you guys have a group of guys stationed, or maybe it's just one guy. Um, you, know, you can still do one-on-one -on -one events with PMs, and there are other ways to engage them at that local level. Um, and again, start that relationship with the PM before they get to campus. So next up, we have alumni. Alumni can be very beneficial in your summer recruitment process. You know, whether it's referrals, maybe their son, their grandson, you know, their friend's son, or somebody they know is attending your university next year. If they're a legacy, this not only helps you get their contact information, but say they're not a legacy, it still allows you to get another solid guy's contact information who is already recommended by an alumnus. Local alumni can also be beneficial if you have a recruitment event in their area. You can invite them to the event. Sometimes they may even be willing to host the recruitment event. Again, you'd have to ask them first. Um, but, you know, just a couple reasons of how local alumni can be beneficial to your summer recruitment efforts. New student orientation. You know, normally this is an excellent time for us to meet incoming students face to face, um, get their information and get to know them. You know, it offers a great start point. This year, things are gonna look a lot different. It's gonna vary on campus to campus on what student orientation is going to look like, but make sure to keep an eye out on what, you know, how you can get involved, how you can turn the virtual new student orientation and an opportunity for you guys when it comes to recruitment. Pay attention to that and be on top of it and make sure you guys have a plan in place, whatever route your university takes. Otherwise, you know, this just opens another avenue of getting to know PMs over the summer. You know, you want to reach out to them individually through text, but you know, if you're not able to have a new student orientation um, like setting, you know, try and create your own. Try and come up with another way to engage PMs that can kind of fill that gap. All right, guys, so next up, we're gonna talk about the recruitment chair. Your general, your master organizer, the man running the show, 
So first up, elections, you know, if you say you elect in the spring, make sure you give them enough time to plan for the summer. Uh, if you elect them in the fall, you this shouldn't be an issue. But if you are electing in the spring, make sure you give them ample amount of time to plan and organize your summer effort. Last thing I'll say here is it's not just the recruitment chair's job to recruit. You know, individually and collectively, we need to be contributing to a successful summer recruitment. Um, and we have to remember that recruitment is the lifeblood to any fraternity. The guys that we meet, interact with, and overall bring into the organization are going to directly reflect our fraternity naturally. So it's imperative that we all pitch in on this summer recruitment effort. Next thing we're going to talk about is financing summer recruitment. When you're budgeting, um, you know, the recruitment chair, we expect you to work with your number four, come up with a budget that you can have over the summer um, and use when recruiting these PMs. Think about mail postage. You know, if you're sending out letters, a very classy way to get a PM's attention, um, or any other form of communication that you plan on using with PM. Printing, so you're plan printing out flyers, note cards, or any type of business card with information on it, make sure you budget for that. Food. PMs love food, or if you're reserving an event location at an off-party location or off-campus location, make sure you have that reservation planned out and scheduled ahead of time so that all the brothers know about it and they have no problem being there. You know, the scale of your events is going to depend on your budget. You may not have it in the budget to throw a big event at a barbecue facility in town. That's okay. You know, you can supplement any low-cost events um, for those bigger scale events. And remember, it's not the venue that makes the event, it's the quality of the brothers that show up and the quality of experience that you give to the PMs when they show up. So it doesn't matter on the budget, you can still throw a successful recruitment event. However, the scale of your events will reflect the budget or, you know, should be budgeted accordingly. Last thing I'll say here is, you know, I would make sure to include a coffee and lunch budget. Um, this provides money, say there's a brother who wants to bring a PM out to lunch. Um, great guy, you know, was class president of senior year or whatever. Make sure that that budget is available for them so that they can take them out to lunch, get to know them, and overall just begin that relationship. Uh, make sure they have a budget available for them so they don't have to worry about that out-of-pocket cost or however you guys want to organize that. Next up is chapter builder. You know, most, more likely than not, you are spread out across the state, maybe even the country. Chapter builder allows us to store all of the PM's information in a central location. Additionally, it's a very easy way to reach out to PMs. You guys can go in one stop shop, find the PMs phone number, email, or any other information you may need, and begin reaching out to them from there. If you have any more questions on how to use Chapter Builder, um, please check out the demonstration video we made. It's got a good information on how to you know, interact with the interface um, and use a, cool, a few of the other cool features as well. All right, guys, so that is summer recruitment in a nutshell. If you guys have any more questions about summer recruitment, want to run ideas by me, tips, tricks, or advice, feel free to reach out off my email down there. Otherwise, thanks again for tuning in, and I look forward to hearing from you guys.